Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Eagles Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see uh, some real-time uh, challenges which you might get in your performance testing where your business uh, or your stakeholders must ask you uh, to fix this. Like they will be giving you the uh, the number of APIs that you want to test, the number of users you want to test, and then the TPH, the transaction per hour, which is usually the throughput, and then the SLA. Uh, so they must ask you to achieve this. So you must be able to achieve these many number of hits per hour with the given number of users, and this should be the SLA. So SLA is something like uh, your business is telling you that this is the maximum amount of response time you should get for any request. So we'll see how to achieve this. And in fact, we'll see how to achieve this for all these three set of uh, challenges. Like we have one API, four user, 42 transactions per hour, and with the SLA of one second. So what is going to be the think time for this so that you can uh, set up your test and uh, you can hold the delays and then you can trigger the test in the manner that you can run the test and then you have two APIs, four users, 42 transactions per hour with a five seconds of SLA. So this is again a little bit of high uh, SLA. And then in the same manner, we have got the three users, there, sorry, three APIs with four users and 42 TPH and three seconds. So we'll solve them one by one. So firstly, let me um, bring out this one that is for the first API and so uh, let me give you a quick uh, thing here so since we have got 42 uh, transactions per hour so what is going to be the TPS which is transactions per second it's going to be 42 divided by 3600 which is the total number of seconds so you're going to achieve 0 0.01 hits per second so that's going to be yeah that that's the expected rate of hit that you want to achieve so now let me bring you this one. So the total, so this is for the first example. So the total transactions per hour is going to be 42. That's the one we have got here. And then the number of users. So how many users we have? We have got four users. And the SLA per transaction is one second right so we are very clear with this so we know what is the total transactions per hour or how many users you're going to use and what is the sla for the transaction so now we will see what is the total transaction per user per hour right so because you have got four users so first we need to understand how many transactions can one user do that so that we can uh, scale it up to four users right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it like transactions per user per hour okay so when it comes to transactions per user per hour this is the formula here so let me write the formula i'll just show it to you and then at the bottom i'll uh, okay yeah sorry let me do this way so it's going to be equals and then 42 tph we all know that on the top you can see so for four users if it is 42 and how many for one user so that's what you're going to do and uh, yeah like i told you if it is like 40 transactions per hour with four users how many hits are you going to get for one user so let me get the real number here so it is going to be equals 42 divided by four right so i'm going to i'm just bringing this part so for four users if you can achieve 42 hits per hour how many for one users so for for one user you're going to achieve 10.5 transactions per user per hour so so far i think you have understood because some of you have messaged me that i'm not you are not able to understand so just if you cannot watch this you cannot understand this please uh, go back and then come again so so far i'm just bringing the numbers from whatever i got so for one hour if you are able to achieve 42 transactions per hour with four users how many hits you're going to achieve with one user you're going to achieve 10.5 hits per transaction per user right for per user per hour okay and now the next part is we'll see how much time available per transaction okay so for this so each user we know since they're running for one hour each user will have 
3600 seconds in an hour okay if you're running it for one hour so the time available per transaction is so let me bring in the formula here so time per transaction equals to 3000 okay let me give the equals here so it's going to be 3600 seconds divided by 10.5 transactions so where does this 10.5 come from so this 10.5 came from this one like 10.5 transactions per user so totally for the entire duration of test you have 3600 seconds and how many uh, like one user has to do 10.5 transactions per hour right which means you are going to get so let me get the real value so 3600 divided by 10.5 it is 342 seconds per transaction so which means every transaction needs to run for 342 seconds right but okay let let, let me tell you what happened so for each transaction you would need 342 seconds for each transaction so you don't need much so just uh, let me give you a quick recap so for transactions per user per hour you have 42 transactions per hour and you have four user so for one user you can achieve 10.5 transactions per user per hour so now totally each user will have 3600 seconds in an hour which is like for one hour so for one transaction you would need 3600 seconds divided by 10.5 which is the number of um, uh, transactions per hour per user here so for once for one transaction you you can achieve it in 342 seconds so now let's calculate the think time right so think time per transaction because if you're able to apply, achieve that think time then you can achieve the throughput uh, other transactions per hour okay so now think time t equals 342.857 the one that you can you see on the previous line minus one second right so one second is the sla so don't confuse yourself so one second is the sla so what do you think what is the assumption is you or the api would take just one second for each transaction so when you're subtracting 342.857 which is the transactions seconds per transaction i can even do like this equal minus one so one is the sla right so the thing time after each api call should be approximately 341 seconds or you can have it like five minutes and 41.86 seconds so this should be your think time and this will allow the users to achieve 42 transactions per hour each with the one second processing time right so this is for the first example so i think so far you are following me and now let's move on to the second example which is let me just copy this here okay i think it, it can be here okay uh, let me copy this here so now let's see the second example like how many users are like uh, how are we going to achieve the second part so in this first one we were seeing this first example and now we are going to see the second example here right okay so now i believe you are ready for the second example so the so same thing here so let's start with the total transactions so the let me just bring it here sorry uh, total transactions per hour, per user per hour that's the first thing we found out in the previous example so here we found out total transactions per user per hour mm, so the transactions per user per hour is equal to 42 tph which we all know divided by four users right four user okay so now how many user how many uh, transactions per user per hour yeah you're right so it's going to be 42 divided by 4 it's 10.5 transactions per user 
per hour. That's very simple. So now the next part is how much time is available per transaction. Okay, so time available per transaction and that is each user has how many seconds? 3600 seconds in an hour. So the time available per transaction is time per transaction that's what you're going to calculate now so time per transaction is 3600 divided by 10.5 transactions so which we we know that right transactions so which is here so 10.5 transactions per user so the total duration is 3600 seconds so you have got 10.5 uh, transactions per hour so how many transactions uh, seconds per transaction so that is 3600 divided by 10.5 sorry uh, equals 3600 divided by 10.5 and that is 342.857 seconds per transaction right so now let's go we have come to the um, the expected one so the total SLA time per transaction. So with two API calls per transaction, so we have got two API calls this time. So two API calls per transaction. So for every transaction, you have got two API calls, and each call taking and each call taking five seconds, right? So the total SLA time per transaction is let's see that so the total sla time is 2 multiplied by 5 seconds which is totally have got 10 seconds right so you have got previously we have got one api and this is one second so now we have got two apis and each has got sla of 5 seconds so we have you have got like 10 seconds of time so with, with like two api calls per transaction and each call taking five seconds so the total sla per transaction is 10 seconds so now let's calculate the think time so think time per transaction t equals time per transaction minus total sla time that's very simple so time per transaction, we know that's 342 equals 342.857 minus, sorry, minus, oh my God, okay. Let, let me keep it like this, okay. It's minus 10 seconds, I think I must do it again, okay. yeah minus 10 seconds so 342 minus 10 seconds is 3 32 seconds right 32.857 seconds and now you have to distribute I mean 332 dot 86 seconds and you have to you have to distribute this 332 divided by 2 because for the after the first transaction you have to keep half of this uh, thing time and then after the second call you have to keep the other half of the thing time so that you can distribute this thing time into two like divided by two so after the first call let me just do this way so equal to three three two point eight five seven divided by two which is you have got one one six six after the first call and after the second call so it will be like this so the first call and then one six six point four two think time and then the second call and then again the one six six point four two the think time okay so yeah so far i think uh, you must have understood so if you if not please do again watch the video from the beginning or wherever you have doubts so now let's move on to the third part okay and after this i'll upload uh, this video as well i mean this sorry uh, this excel sheet as well for your reference so now let's move on to the third one yeah so now moving to the third example so this is the third one uh, and let's see uh, it's it's quite simple because we already have did the same number already 
So let me just copy a few things. So we have got total transactions per user per hour. It's going to be the same one because for any time it's like if it is uh, the users are same. So it is 40 transactions per hour, it's same. So the users are same. So the transactions per hour is also going to be same. It's like 10.5 seconds. So only uh, 10.5 transactions per hour, sorry. And then uh, again, uh, time available per transaction. So again, this is also same. So let me just copy this and I'll explain you here. So each user has 3,600 seconds in an hour. So time per transaction is 3,600 divided by 10.5 is 342.85 seconds per transaction. So now the third part is the SLA, right? So the total SLA here. So this is going to be a little bit of different numbers here. Yep. So the total SLA we have got three API calls per transaction and each call takes three seconds, right? So each call taking three seconds. So the total SLA time will be three multiplied by three seconds, which is obviously three multiplied by three is nine seconds. So now coming back to the last part, so think time per transaction. So let me just copy paste it for you. So the total SLA time, so we have got the total number, the 342 is there, and then the nine seconds, we're going to replace it here. So when subtracting 342 from the nine seconds, which is the SLA, we will get 333.857 seconds. So now since we have got three APIs one after the other, so we are going to divide this 333.857 divided by three. So Sorry, I have missed the equals. So we will be, so after uh, adding, so here's the first uh, transaction with three seconds. So let me add it here, three seconds. And then the second, the first thing time. So I'll add it as T1, 111.285 one, one, one And then the second API, which is again with three seconds the T2, 111.2857. The third one, which is again with three seconds, the T3 with the same 111. So I can even show you this one, like this will be more interesting. So we have got this part. So let me just copy, paste it here. So let me remove this number, yeah. So just imagine, so let me show you this one. So if you see here, again, we have got this number. So the 342.8564, which is for one iteration, you will be getting, uh, you will be uh, able to complete in 342.8564 seconds. So when you were doing it like 10.5 times, so just multiplied by 10.5, see, you will be able to achieve this in one hour, just like 3,600 seconds. So that's the reason. So this is like A equals A plus B equal to B plus, I mean, A plus B equals B plus A. So this is something like if you are able to achieve the uh, transactions, the SLA, and you'll be able to achieve the transactions per hour or with the thing time. So it's, it's all again with the help of the little slide can reach this number. So I think this video might have been very useful to you. So until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and your favorite little slide. Take care and bye-bye.